Now look at everything I had to put in place in order to get the uh, View Connection Manager installed and to get the View Environment built. Let me kind of review with you again what we're talking about. I had to have a domain controller installed. I had to have a connection server installed. I had to have, um, I had to have the connection server that is a member of the domain. Member of the domain controller. And this was a Windows Server 2008 machine. I also needed to have, I also needed to have an XP agent. I also had an XP client. I also had a Windows 7 agent, right? I also created a terminal server. This was a Windows Server 2008 machine, Windows Server 2008 box. These were both XP machines. This is a Windows 7 machine. Okay. On the agent is where I install the VMware agent, a VMware view agent. On the client is where I installed the VMware view client. So I wanted to create my desktop pools. So domain controller, connection server, and I also created an internal network. Internal, internal network. Okay. I created an internal network for this purpose. And my internal network is got the 10.10.10 address. And my external network is the one that's got the 192.168 address. And I created the two networks simply because I wanted to show you everything inside of one box. My external network is the one that is responsible for connecting me to the VCS machine, right? I also had to install the, view, uh, the VMware uh, vCenter server. Very important piece of the equation, okay? I also had to install the View Composer so that I can get linked clones going. All of these things just to have my view environment running properly. Thank you for viewing our short demo video. For more information on K-Alliance's e-learning videos, please visit us at www.kalliance.com or call us at our U.S. toll-free number 1-800-330-9111.